YouTube, what's going on? It's your boy Noel Blends. We are back at it again with another haircut tutorial. We are going to be doing a mid drop fade on my boy, and we're, I'm going to show you guys step by step on what I do to achieve this type of look. We are going back to the OG step from the beginning when I first started my first videos. I did go back to, to cutting like this, and I think this was the best decision I've ever made. And I hope you guys like it. Let's get right into it. Stay tuned. I hope you guys like the result. So right here what we're doing, we're going in with our number 7 guard, lever fully closed and just taking it all the way down. You do want to go a few times just making sure you get every little hair. We are dealing with the poofy hair. This type of hair is probably one of the hardest hair to fade, cut, everything. So just make sure you guys go over it a couple times. So right here what we're doing, we're going in with our number 2 guard, lever fully open and we're just going to debulk the sides a little bit. We are going straight up, we are not digging in. With this type of hair texture, any little spot you're gonna able, you're gonna be able to see it. You're gonna see all the little hairs that are that you missed uh, pop out. This hair is not laying down; it is poofing out. So just remember that. Keep that in mind. Give it a little flick. Go straight up, as you guys can see. So for our first step, we are gonna go in with our baby list trimmers. These are zero gap. So if you do have something zero gap, just keep in mind. Do not put a lot of pressure, or else that bottom line is gonna be tough to take out. But we're just going to go um, all the way down to under his occipital bone. We do not want the C-cups on this mid-drop fade, so just make sure. It might look like a high fade from the front, but this is the only way you can do it without the, the C-cups. Make sure when you are doing this step right here too, do not leave any little hairs behind the ear. Pull down that ear, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. You are not hurting your clients, so just go ahead and pull down his ear and make sure you got everything. The last thing you want is your clients to go home and have a bunch of hair right, uh, right um, by his uh, ear. That's the worst part, that tells a lot. That means you are being lazy and you do not want to go the extra mile to really just clean up around, around his ear. So now what you want to do is grab your shavers, doesn't matter what kind, they all do the same thing to me in my opinion, even a Dollar General, uh, Walmart shaver does the job. Of course like the babyless ones and the other, the Andis ones are a little bit stronger but at the end of the day it gets down to skin. Just go all the way to the top of the line, light pressure, let the, the shaver do its work. So for our first step, we are going with our number one guard, lever fully closed, and we're going to create about an inch guideline. Man, I miss these steps so much. I don't know why. I think I just got caught up in uh, trying to cut faster and do this and that. But there ain't nothing like these steps. To me, this, this blend just comes out way smoother with these steps. All my OG subscribers know what I'm talking about. These are the, the best steps I have ever used and it makes your blends just look super creamy as you guys can see now once we do the one in, or the one guard lever fully closed we're gonna come in with our half guard lever fully closed and we're gonna create the same guideline right on it remember guys to keep the blade flat do not give it a flick right here just keep the blade flat and let let the clipper do its work as you guys can see we're just lining we're just lighting up the 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 guideline as you guys can see it is not we're not taking out that bottom line completely. It's just going to take it down to the half guard. So next, what you want to do, we are going to take off that bottom, the first initial ball, the guideline we created at first, our first guideline. We're going to go right on it and just break the line. All you, can, all you got to do is open it about a quarter. You're not going to have to open it more than halfway. Uh, if you do, then go ahead, but I'm more than sure you're not going to... I never really have to open it more than halfway to taking out this bottom line. And um, the reason I use these Oster Fast Feeds with the ceramic blade is because I can hear the noises whenever I'm detailing. It's the best clipper, in my opinion, to detail. It's nothing like the Oster Fast Feeds and the Andes Masters. You can hear every little hair it's grabbing. In my opinion, these are probably the best clippers to detail a haircut with on the bottom guidelines. I think it leaves it out the smoothest. Unlike other clipper companies, I don't know, it's just something about these Osters and these Masters. They, they're just super smooth with it and just creates a nice blurry blend transition. 
So just in case our clipper didn't get everything or if you missed any little spots and it's just let's say you put a little too much pressure in some spots what's going to take it out is these trimmers these zero gap trimmers just go on there and just put the corner of the blade and you're good just flick out and get all those remaining little stubbles that the clipper didn't get so next what you want to do is grab your one and a half guard lever fully closed and we create about another inch guideline right on top copying the same the same way we set in our first guidelines at an angle, you're going to do the same exact thing. And to be honest, guys, we already finished the hardest part of this whole blend. Believe it or not, think about it. We got the zero line out and it's already looking super smooth in the bottom. That's probably the hardest part about doing a fade, any type of haircut, tape or anything. It's probably going to be the fading. That's what most of beginner barbers struggle with is taking out that bottom guideline. As you guys can see, the bottom guideline is already smooth with it. So these steps do allow you to create that smooth transition and that's the hardest part and it's, to, to me it's the easiest part now so right here once you finish the one and a half guard lever fully closed we're gonna come in with our number one guard and copy the same exact thing one guard lever fully open and we're gonna start to sandwich the blend literally the same exact thing we did with the one and a half guard we're gonna do right right with our with our one guard lever fully open Then what you want to do is close it halfway and we're going to do the same exact thing again about uh, just a little bit more lower than uh, than what we just took it with the one guard open. We're just doing halfway now and we're going a little bit less lower now. But remember, keep the blade flat. As you guys can see, I'm keeping the blade flat this whole time. I'm not doing no crazy flicking. We're just sanding down the blend, literally sanding down the blend. Once you do that, we're gonna come in with our with our one guard still and just fully close it now. And we're gonna attack that middle ghost line as you guys can see what I pointed at. Keep in mind, it's not gonna take out the line completely. In some cases it might, it might not. Once you close this or once you do this step, if your blend looks solid, then go ahead, you can leave it. But if you just want uh, to clean it up even more, we're gonna come in with our half guard after this step. As you guys can see, I'm still keeping the blade flat right on the middle ghost line. Once you see us not doing anything, just leave it alone and go, go on to your next step. Like right here, we're coming with our half guard now. Once we finish up that step, the one guard, we go, we jump back down to our half guard and we're gonna utilize our corners right here. And this is, we're gonna attack the same ghost line and we're gonna, we're gonna use mainly our corners. And in this step, you do wanna give it more of a flick. That way you don't push up the blend. Or you can keep the, the the blade flat still and go right on it, but make sure you give it a flick towards the end. That way you don't push it up super high. As you guys can see, I'm just attacking the dark spots in between now. And this is the step that's gonna bring your blend together and make it look super solid, super, super buttery, blurry f uh, fade. So next what you want to do is grab your number two guard lever open and I close it about one little, little notch which is which is about a quarter and we're just going to connect the top to the bottom you guys can see we're just going straight up not really creating a guideline just going straight up and connecting the top to the bottom as best as we can remember this is the poofy type hair so it's really tough right here so we after you finish that we go with our one and a half guard same thing close about one little knot notch what you want to do is keep the lever open and close it one little notch or a quarter if you don't have the notches. And we're just going to go right underneath the number two guard. As you guys can see, it's just lining up the little dark spots. So now for this step, this is our taper comb with uh, the thinning shears. So sometimes when I do the, and it, like, it just depends on the hair texture, but sometimes my guard won't leave it as smooth. I come in with my shears, my thinning shears, and we're just gonna go straight up and attack the little dark spots. These are the Hanzo shears. I just got these. These are super clean, super buttery. I know some shears, they do uh, leave a bunch of little dots whenever you do these steps. So 
just try to invest in yourself in a good pair of shears i had never done it i've always had just regular little 60 dollars shears these are these shears were expensive and i so far it's a great investment i love them super buttery doesn't leave no lines as you guys can see i'm just going straight up watch the comb i'm just going straight up basically combing the hair up and you guys can see any all those little dark spots just start to disappear so we are going to do his lineup we are going to use enhancements everything i am using in this video will be listed down below that we guys can check them out i'm gonna make a video on how i mix my enhancements because there's a certain amount i like to do and it just saves me a bunch of time i don't always got to mix in the little the little container on the spray gun i have it mixed already pre-made and i'm gonna show you guys how to do it in my next video i'm pretty sure i'm just gonna i'm gonna show you guys simple man it's nothing too crazy it's just I'm going to show you guys the right amount to use and what not to use. We do use the white barber pencil though and then I use my brush just to brush the rest of it in. Hit it with my trimmers and then just make sure a bunch of a bunch of the little residue comes off. So right here I did notice that his hair was still poofing out a little bit so I went with my clipper over comb and just gave it a little bit more shape. We are going for that boxy look so we're not digging in. So just in case you guys forgot how my client came in looking like this was the before this is how he sat on my chair and this is how he's leaving my chair i think the cut came out super smooth number seven on top with the mid drop fade if you guys like this haircut make sure you guys like comment subscribe hit that notification bell that way you guys get alerted every time i drop a new video dm me on instagram follow me on tiktok on both of my social medias they're all the same and the will blend let me know if you guys have any questions. If you guys like these steps a lot better than the previous ones. I think it, they're a lot better if you guys ask me. The, the cut came out even way better than my previous ones. So if you guys like these steps. Make sure you guys comment down below and let me know. It's your boy Noel Blends. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.